Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. Today, we're gonna go on a special operation, Operation Ghost Knife, where we're forced to only uh, bring with us soldiers that are less known by advent, so sergeant or below, which means that we're taking a lot of corporals, squaddies, and rookies with us, because we don't have an exact sergeant anymore. So we're taking with us our grenadier, Jessica Taylor, another grenadier, uh, Marina Ivanova, then Hilda Carlson, our specialist, then one of our rookies, Gertrude Weiss, Paula King, our sharpshooter, and our last rookie, Elisabetta Bianchi. So here we go. We should be getting 200 supplies out of this if we are successful, because of course these uh, Valkyries are fresh from school. So uh, let's see. So, as you might have noticed, I've uh, given all of our uh, new Valkyries a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of paint, a little lick of paint. Transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. Advent has the AO under heavy surveillance, so we'll need to keep a low profile on this one. If we stick to sending in troops Advent hasn't blacklisted yet, it'll decrease our chances of being detected. Okay, um, by the way, this is a very long ways off for six turns, although I think I have activated the bonus now that the timer won't start until we're concealed, uh, we're out of concealment. So, uh, yeah, let's put everybody forward, and I guess I'll see you guys once anything happens. Aha! Uh -huh. no so, the Archon and a Sectoid over there on the right. We're gonna have to be careful because those guys might actually pop up. Oh, wow! Oh, crap! Um, they were spotted immediately. That's not good. Wow, the sight radius on these guys is humongous at the moment. Okay. So, an Archon and a Sactoid and we lose concealment immediately. Great! Um, Marina, you have this fancy rocket launcher thing, right? I'm guessing you can actually hit both of them. Yeah, we're gonna do exactly that and start blasting our way out of this. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, they won't even know what hit them. Because I'm assuming this is gonna be the only Archon in our way. I don't know what... There's something with two health in the back there. And I don't know... Aha. Uh -huh. ...indicate that Relay is feeding energy directly into their network. If you can destroy it, it may disrupt their efforts to isolate the transmitter. Aha. Uh -huh. So that would be handy because of course that would limit the amount of moves well we we would have more turns to actually reach the transmitter great okay so archon 50 percent because it's floating hmm if i can get another grenade around the corner but i won't be able to i think i'm gonna have to take the shots that i can at the archon but i think with those three we won't have enough so i can hit the archon again with a grenade. I'll see what happens, because I first need to check what those other two shots are going to do. So Hilda, 50% at the Archon. That's a hit of 6 damage. Not a lot, but it's something. Then we have another shot. From Elisabetta. Uh, that's only 45. I have a grenade though. So 45. How much health does this guy have left? Way too much. So I'm gonna have to fire if it hits. We can finish it off with a grenade. And we miss. Okay. Then I'm gonna have to put Jessica on Overwatch. There we go. Overwatch shot on the Archon. But it's probably gonna miss because of course he still has the height advantage. Even though he's very low to the ground. But this is not gonna be good. I think he's, he's probably going for a melee attack there. Seven damage. That's almost dead. And now the sectoid has... Ooh! Gold. Taking fire over here. Okay. Okay. That's good. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I don't know if I even brought health kits. I don't think I did. But... Sniper rifle. 58%? Or... Th th are you freaking kidding me? It's right in front of us. That's not fair, putting Archons in missions that we don't have anybody for. Ah, oh, 58% on the Archon. With the machine gun. 
I'm gonna put everybody as close as possible. But maybe first off, I should actually get rid of the sectoid for sure. So Marina can go closer. There we go. Get a nice flank shot. 90% chance on the sectoid. Good. Oh, wow. I even missed, but the stock actually fit. I missed a 90% shot. Okay, this is not going to bode well for our rookie uh, Valkyries here. Fear of missed shots. Resisted. Okay, so she's not panicking because she missed. That's good, I guess. 61% shot. That's a hit. 7 damage and it's burning. So I would think that means that it's going to die next turn. But I don't want to risk this. So I'm just going to move up Paula. There we go. Then we use the... Now the pistol is 92. Oh, because it's burning, it lost its advantages. So let's just fire the pistol. Bye-bye. Ooh, wow. That's a that's a sight. That was a bit weird, but... Okay. Um, now, if I can... But I cannot just yet. I can put somebody over here. So Hilda over here. Can we actually fire at that? Yeah. Fire at that. And there we go. Does that give us an extra well turn? It does. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. Aha. I do have the the, the medikit with me. I didn't right. think about that, apparently. I only have one charge, but there we go. At least she can almost survive another shot. Um, and we can move everybody up. So I'm going to shoot at one of the other... Uh, smaller psionic transmitter thingies. So there goes another one, and I have another one very close by, so I think... Uh, who has shots on that? Apparently Elisabetta, there we go. So that gives us two more turns to just move closer. So another one goes down. We keep spotting these, so that gives, gives us uh, still seven turns until we need to do anything properly. So uh, overwatch shots otherwise. Aha, and two... That seems like an officer and a trooper. You have a few overwatch shots. The first one is a miss, but with the stock that still does two damage on the officer. And those two guys are just gonna come a little bit closer, I would assume. I did put Paula up there, as you can see. Uh, and I did something else that might help us out, because there's two troopers now, two Valkyries on the side. So I think we can actually get off a nice few uh, flank shots here. So this guy apparently knew I was coming, because he still put himself in a very good position. <laughs> okay. Um, I can, however, try and skulljack the officer. So Gertrude goes a little bit closer and she gets a 41% shot on the advent officer. That's not good, but Paula has an 82 shot on... Ooh, 82 on the trooper or 65 on the officer. I think the officer is going to be the bigger problem here because the rest I could probably... The trooper I could probably take out with somebody else. Let's see if I can take use Jessica. Ooh, I actually have... Oh... I have a flank shot on the officer from here. Interesting. Interesting. Let's try that first. Because a flank shot means possible... Ooh, that was even a dodge. So that was a critical. Because that was 10 damage. Dodge halves the damage. So... Interesting. Um, so let's put Elisabetta right next to Jessica there. And then we get another flank shot of 66. And that's a miss. No biggie, no biggie. Because Marina still has a shot as well. I could put her behind the table here. And get another flank shot. But before I do that, I want to be sure that I kill the trooper with the sniper rifle shot. So let's try that. 82%. There we go. There he goes. Nicely done, Paula. From height advantage, so that's another ability point as well. Do I go for another flank shot? I should probably. So if I do this, I get another flank shot. 71. This should be a kill. And we miss again. And she still has the fear of missed shots probably, but... Hmm. Negative ammo. I'm spent. I think I'm just going to use a grenade then. 
Uh, so Gertrude, use your plasma grenades to kill the officer. And toss it out. There he goes. Okay. And Gertrude actually gets a promotion out of that as well. Let's put Hilde a little bit closer. Hopefully I don't trigger anything with that. No, I don't. So let's put it on Overwatch. And that was my last action. Okay. We have one more delayed transmitter over there. So that's fine. I'm going to have to reload Marina. And then I'm going to move everybody up. So we take out one extra transmitter. Right there. And then we take out another one. Over here. So that does drain Jessica's weapon, however. Hmm. Should probably spread it out a little bit. And use Elisabetta's fuller magazine. To take out the transmitter. Uh, and then I can use Jessica. I can actually reload Jessica, probably. So everybody reloaded. Everybody closer. We're moving up slowly. And no alien activity as of yet. So I think Paula moving her up over here is going to be the more interesting play. Okay. So let's put her on this little scaffolding. This little higher balcony. Nothing yet. Jessica can move up. Uh, I'll move her up over here into full Moving cover. Up. That gives us another transmitter and nothing else. Okay, then I guess I'll see you guys in a minute again. And we take out another transmitter in the next turn. So this doesn't seem to be a, a big problem. Um, we're moving up rather nicely. More of those relays. That's all the time we're going to get, Commander. Okay, so that means that the aliens are probably all 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 clustered right around the transmitter itself. We still have six turns to just place the C4, but I feel like there might be aliens over here on the left. In which case, our two troopers over here, so Gertrude and Hilda, I think that is, should move last. And we should use Jessica to get a little bit closer, maybe right next to the door. Moving out. Does this trigger anything? Not yet. I am going to, however, open up the door or not. No, I'm going I'm to wait. I'm going to put Hilda over here next to the opening. And now we get nothing. Okay. Same goes for Gertrude. Let's put her closer to the opening in the wall here. The doorway, the archway, whatever you want to call it. Nothing still. And that means I'm going to open up the door. So let's open up the door. Yeah, definitely aliens. That's a confirmed okay, a spectre and a sectoid. The X4 charges before they can cut it off from the network. A Spectre and a Sectoid. There they go. They look really cool, by the way. Together. That's a, a nice pair of enemies. But they're not that, that good at taking positions, I feel like. Because I can just... I could grenade them if I wanted to. Can Paula see anything? Paula. Paula can see nothing. So that's too bad, because that means I lose at least one shot here. Uh, unless I can put her over here, that would not give her sight, I think. I can put her over here. Moving out. Drop down. And let's see what I can do here. So I have a shot at the Sactoid, and it's a 65% shot. I think I can make that better with Jessica's grenade. Because their shots aren't that good right now. But the grenade should actually hit both of them. And get rid of the cover of the sectoid. That might actually... Why did, would that kill the sectoid? I guess we'll see. For you. Yeah, this is for you, buddy. Hey, chaps. I got a grenade for you. I think she's Australian, by the way. I'm not British. <laughs> I'm a dick sometimes. Um, so there we go. Sectoid wide open. So that means that Paula... Paula... Where's Paula? There's Paula. Paula can fire her pistol at the sectoids. Here we go. And that sounds like a kill to me. Hostile neutralized. Yeah, hostile neutralized indeed. Now, the spectre. 
the Spectre. I can't really fire at the Spectre from here, so I'm going to have to go with two Overwatch shots in the back there. But I could probably move up with Elisabetta. Because the Spectre is most likely going to try and go for Shadowbound again. I do get a shot with Elisabetta, but it's only 46%. So that means instead of firing at it, I'm going to put everybody on Overwatch. Because the shots are going to be better if he's moving. Or if it is moving. Although I don't know how that works with that swarm. Might be that it's really hard to hit when it's in swarm form. But uh, everybody's going to get a shot. Lightning reflexes. Okay, but that was, that was a hit. And I think there's one more. There we go. One more from Marina. Uh, Marina, did she kill it with a miss? That stalk is really doing its work. We're not picking up any other contacts. Get those charges deployed. All right. So that means that we're done. That's really cool. That's really cool. So the only thing I need to do is put Jessica over here, plant those charges, and get out. There we go. A nice original XCOM. Charge. Signal confirmed. X4 charges are active. That transmitter is history. There we go. Work, Commander. Uh, I didn't see it explode. I would have liked to see it explode, but only six enemies on a difficult mission. This probably was difficult because those were high level enemies with low level soldiers. So I had another crash in the meantime. Luckily not with as uh, far reaching consequences as last time this happened. But uh, there we go. The yeah, they definitely weren't hesitating, but uh, Gertrude is falling to her knees because she was almost dead there. If uh, she would have taken one more extra damage, that would have killed her outright. But Marina got a promotion and she gets uh, Demolition or Suppression. I still think Demolition is better, even though I don't use it all that often. But if I really want to take out cover, that's the way to go if I don't have a grenade anymore. So Demolition it is. Then we have Hilda. Hilda. I I think she should probably go for Haywire Protocol as well. Her hacking skill is pretty good. So there we go. Making her an aggressive uh, specialist. Then Gertrude is promoted to another specialist. So 8 Protocol. And then Elisabetta also gets a promotion to Grenadier. That's great. We need more Grenadiers. Um, and is there a bomb available? Doesn't seem like there is. They're not blinking. So I'm guessing, yeah, we don't have maximum cohesion just yet. We did get an Illyrium core and all the corpses we would want from that battlefield. And we get 200 supplies as well, if I'm not mistaken. An aesthetically impressive specimen, the hidden horrors of melding organic tissue with the inner workings of a machine are well disguised here. The unique melee weapon employed by the creature could be of particular interest to our rangers. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. Thank you, Cancel. Thank you. That was uh, actually pretty doable, even with our lower level uh, units. Um, especially the explosives helped a lot against that Archon, because Archons can be very, very annoying to hit. Um, we could put an Engineer in the Infirmary, but I don't think I'll be using Gertrude in the next mission anyway. So let's just let her recover normally. And we get more supplies. I'm just going to not check that out just yet. What are our further plans? So I'm going to upgrade the one of the comm stations. So we're going to add an additional comm station with 125 supplies. We need a little bit more power. That's not a problem at all. Uh, so now it's upgraded. That's actually instantaneous. And that gets us one more contact as well. I think I'm going to use that immediately. Since we will be able to use that on the map. Because we need to have access to an alien facility at all times once the Avatar project is complete almost again. Uh, and I think the only one we can directly access... Oh no, there's two I think. So we can go to Western US over there or we can go to Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe might be interesting because the laboratory facilities provide an additional 20% boost to research times. We don't have laboratories though. So we don't have any labs. Um, and the tactical analysis. Enemy units lose one action on their next turn if discovered on the XCOM turn. That would be really, really good. Because that means that every time we find a cluster, they have one action less than they would normally have. That would be very, very beneficial. And I think Western US 
therefore might be our next stop. So let's go over there. Make content contact or not. We could build another relay first. To reduce the intel costs. How much is a relay these days? 200 supplies. 200 supplies. But I need the relays anyway. Yes, let's install the radio relay. So let's do that. Uh, building is only three days apparently. Ooh. I need to kill that thing. I need to kill that thing. I mean, she's almost there. I think. The elders never had any issues targeting civilians, and their chosen are no different. The resistance is counting on us to protect their people. We can't let them down. I think. So find a stronghold. Wait, find a stronghold. That is that. I thought I could already go attack this thing. Yeah, there we go. I can actually hunt the chosen assassin immediately if I want to. I'm gonna cancel for now. But there is no reason why I shouldn't do this. Because I should actually really, really do this. Because if I don't, um, I'm going to be in big trouble. But I want to see what my available people are first. This actually looks pretty good. Although I would like to take Alessia as well to have a sharpshooter. Um, otherwise, I could actually replace her with... Um, Marina as well, with the heavy stuff, um, but otherwise this looks pretty good even. But Alessia should, would have been even better. So if I can get Alessia out of Shaken, I should be good. It's a little bit of a risk that the Chosen might attack in that time, but it only takes three more days to build the radio relay as well. So if I can do that, if the Assassin lets me do that, Dangerous enemy detected, so that's the third powerful alien that we can get. Let's check the facility. Yeah, it's the one over there. The one we knew, the only one that wasn't guarded just yet. Uh, so let's just complete this. So that's 62 extra supplies from our uh, supply drop every month. And then I'm going to make contact with the Western US. Because that though only costs 40 intel and that's instantaneous. And there we go, we can skip that. And that brings us up to maximum capacity again. So North America is pretty well covered right now. Alessia is shaken for one more day. So let's just keep an eye on that. While we run around the map for some reason. Um, let's just go to those supplies then. Because that's pretty close to... It is, right? Yeah, pretty close to the assassin as well. So moving over there, that also makes time pass. That also makes time pass a little bit. Didn't bring Alessia back just yet. I'm just going to keep an eye on the bottom left. There we go. Our actions have uh -oh. succeeded and the elders grow fearful. So extra cohesion between those ladies and no soldier was captured and Emily's will has increased by three. Nothing too spectacular, but it's something. And we need to assign something new. Our influence with the resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the chosen. So next up, I think I'm going to go for the Hunter as well, just to uh, keep an eye on everything. So Hunt the Chosen Hunter, I need to give them a Sergeant, a Sergeant, I think Christina, no, 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 Marina, because she gets extra health from that. So Marina over there, and then two more soldiers. So Emily and Paula as well, that gives them uh, a pretty good squad to go find the Hunter, the risk or... There are no risks apparently, but uh, we gain additional resistance to orders and covert action. So let's confirm that and begin that action. action and then me. it's high time, ladies and gentlemen, that we uh, embark on a very dangerous mission. Because uh, both Elena and uh, Alessia are no longer shaken. So let's go to the chosen stronghold. Avenger plotting new course. Yes, indeed. We're going to take that thing out. We're going to have to take that thing out permanently now. And this 
as the Chosen Stronghold mission. So we managed to find a hidden entrance into the Chosen Stronghold, but we can only use it once. We won't get another shot to take out this Chosen for good if we don't succeed today. Make sure our soldiers are prepared to take them down. I don't know why we're looking at the crutches of our Valkyries there, but uh, there we go. Let's make some adjustments. So we're bringing the A-Team again. So uh, we're going with Elena and Lena. So those are the, uh, well, the Resistance Fighter twins. Well, not really twins, but... Uh, combo team then Heidi and Kelly are uh, strongest bond in the game for now and then Sarah and Alessia so that means two specialists a ranger a sharpshooter a templar and a reaper that means we don't have a grenadier but remember the assassin has an immunity against explosions so we only have three grenades with us that should be more than enough to take out anything that comes across our path we also have the claymore so that counts like as another explosive if we needed to and elena is going to be way more versatile than jacqueline in uh, a mission like this so she can stay hidden but before we go on operation war song we're gonna take a little break so thank you guys enormously for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode of xcom 2 the valkyrie playthrough and i'd like to see you all in the next episode where we're gonna take out the assassin thank you guys enormously for watching and goodbye